Okay, this guy looks like he is. I hope soon this guy who called me he will leave Islam, you know. All of them in the beginning they argue and they get angry. But then they start to say, and they see the reference, go study it, never listen, don't, you see, you listen to me, don't take what I say as a truth, consider it even as a lie if you want, but do, do check it out. If it turned to be true, then you leave Islam, I mean, this is garbage. Don't take what I say, check what I say. And this is for the case for all of you, you know, you Christians, anyone, when we say something to you, we show it to you, check it out. If it's true, then it's true. If it's not, then the guy is lying, whoever he is. Would you say that Islam is like uh, uh, Italian mafia, my friend? Maybe you do not know that the word jizya, the word jizya, you know what, what mafia do? The mafia, uh, like, you know, you know, you heard about protection, right? Pay. Or we burn your store, pay, or we shoot you. Many people do not know that this is taken from the Quran. When the Muslims they occupy part of Italy in Europe, they practice the jizya on the Christians. They collect every other week or other day money from the stores, from the business, from the farmers. They take their chicken, they take their goats. You know, they go and take percentage. They don't take everything because if they take everything, the people will die, and then how they will make money more for them? They don't want them to die. They want them to be like the cow who make generate money for them. So when the European and the Italian they kicked out the Muslims, the criminals they took over the business of the Muslims, and then they start practicing pay for protection. And that is called the jizya. Pay or die. You have to pay. So the Islamic, the, the mafia is born of, of, of Islam. No, no, this is not ransom. Ransom is a different story. Ransom is like you know, you are a prisoner of war or something. Here, this is different. Here, the, every person who is living under Islamic rules, he is not a Muslim, he is a Christian or a Jew, he have to pay, otherwise he will be killed. As simple as that, you are paying to stay alive. And the Quran described that those people, they have to pay and they have to be humiliated. Uh, this is why Muhammad, he forbid the Muslims from practicing farming. Did you ask yourself why? If the Muslims, they cannot practice farming, so who was feeding the Muslims? How the Muslims eat? If there's no farmers, the Christians are the farmers. They take their chicken, they take, this is what the Turkish used to do in Romania, you know, the, the old man. This is why Romania, until now they are poor, because the Turkish, they suck their blood. The old man soldiers, they come to the villages. You have 10 goats, they will take nine, they will leave you one, so next year you will have more. Here you see, uh, let me show you the, uh, the hadith about I'm trying to remember the hadith about uh, Muhammad forbidding Uh, let us see where's the hadith.
Muhammad he says that the one who have such a thing uh, machines for for farming his house will be humiliated And then you ask yourself, why in the world? Let me show you the hadith. Here we go. So Muhammad, he entered a house and he found equipment for farming. So Muhammad, he says, any house, those things will enter into it. Humiliation will enter it. Because Muhammad, he want criminals, he want gang, he don't want farmers who live in peace. I saw some agriculture equipment and said, I heard the prophet saying, there is no house in which those equipment enters, except that Allah will cause humiliation to enter it. Do you see it? Let me share the link with you. So next time, if I mention it, you can help me to make it fast and you can post it. <clears throat> Here you notice that Muhammad is a very filthy gang member and who was feeding the Muslims all those centuries? It was us. They don't work. They are the gang. If Farming is forbidden. Who was feeding them? How they eat? The answer is very simple. The Christians, the Jews, whoever, the Hindus, they are the slaves who will feed the Muslims. Muslims don't work. And for sure now we are talking about the, the glorious time where they were the Muslim, they were the victorious, and they occupy the land and nobody there to question what they do. Not now. Was he so smart or was evil demon possessed? Well, to make it simple for you. Now we hear the news about the Russian, they might invade Ukraine, right? That is a very bad news. Two Christian countries, they are going to kill each other. So let us say, God forbid, Ukraine and Russia both have equal, let us say for the sake of argument, you know, just to give you an example, they have equal power and they keep killing each other for the coming 200 years. Erdogan, after they finish each other, he will attack both, occupy them. And this is what happened exactly. The Persian, and the Roman, they were fighting for more than 300 years. When Muhammad, he came and he had an army, it was a perfect time where both were exhausted. They are totally dead. They don't have men even left to fight. So Muhammad, he came in a perfect time to conquer. Actually, even Muhammad in his lifetime, he went to Tabuk, he tried to conquer the Roman. He could not, he returned, he lost. Then the caliphate after him, they took advantage of the weakness of the Roman and the Persian, and they continued the mission. So let us say they came in a very bad time for mankind. A liar saying that this jizya is a tax. 
Well, do you pay jizya yourself? You don't. And it says you have to pay it with humiliation. Secondly, you occupy our land and you want to take money from me, you coward, son of muta.